All right, so we're at Steve's house checking out his 220 gallon planted rainbow fish tank. It's just gorgeous. And I figured Steve would How's bring, <laughs> figured Steve would talk about the tank and show us uh, what he's got going on in here. It's a beautiful tank. So what kind of fish are these, Steve? So these are the Chilotarina species. Blairi, I call them Blairi. Uh, some people call them Blairi. Um, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, they are a more, I would say, narrow looking body than like the Melanotania rainbow fish or even the Glossolapis. Uh, I absolutely love them. They get up to like four plus inches. Oh, super yeah. colorful. Where's your biggest one? Ah, uh, right here. He's, yeah, he just went to the back, of course. Got some good B-roll of him spawning. Steve said he actually saw the eggs and everything, which is so cool. Oh yeah, we're back there. So tell me a story about this tank. I know you've told me before, but how did you how did you find this tank? This is a big. This is 220 gallons. So this is a big, big tank, and it's it takes up this whole section of your lower level, which is perfect. So. Yeah, so I actually, I guess we can start from the beginning. I used to watch a lot of Dustin's fish tanks. <laughs> uh, he's got his own YouTube channel and everything, as you guys all might know. Um, he had a 220 gallon fish tank that completely just blew my mind, inspired me. He had rainbow fish on there, so I think it was like, I don't know, three years ago that I got it. I was like, this, this is my dream tank, 220 gallons. Um, so I found this tank on eBay for 600 bucks in Nebraska. So we're in Illinois. <laughs> I never thought to look at for tanks on eBay, actually. Yeah, yeah. No, I never no. thought about that. I would have never done it, but I was so into looking for a 220 since I was buying a house that I, out of luck, I, I found this one and me and my cousin hopped in a truck and drove six hours to pick it up and here it is. <laughs> Yeah, that's a beautiful tank. And did you always have it planted with, what is this, is this soil? This is soil, yeah. So like I said, I watched a lot of Dustin's fish tanks. He always vouched for the dirt. Uh, I know there's pretty controver controversial. Uh, some people don't like it, but it's always worked for me. And I think I'm gonna keep doing it. And you've got it just capped off with regular gravel? Yep, just regular gravel from uh, pretty much PetSmart. So. I mean, there's no denying you've got some awesome plant growth. Thank you. And uh, this isn't my first time seeing this tank, but the first time I came down here, I'm going to be honest, I, I almost teared up. I kind of teared up a little bit because it's just so moving. Like, you turn this corner, and I knew Steve had his awesome tank, but, uh, you know, he, w he wouldn't show me a picture until I came over. He's like, you got to see it in person. And I'll tell you what, when you come down those stairs and turn, it, it's, it's moving to see such a large body of water with these beautiful fish. So, okay, so you got, you get, found this on eBay, you did a six hour drive, you got soil as the base, and t talk to me about the hardscape, what do we got back there? Yeah, so that's actually four or five pieces of wood. So the one to the left, it's an individual piece. Um, I purchased that one. Um, and then in the middle, I joined, I joined it with the one piece to the right with smaller, driftwood and I'm not exactly sure I think it was Malaysian um, I can't remember but it's, it's down there somewhere yeah two separate pieces completely different colors but I didn't care because I knew I knew what what I wanted to do with the plants I knew it was going to come together um, I mean it takes up like most of the tank oh yeah no it's big very big and I know you showed me the video of the um inspiration you had for this kind of you know hardscape and oh yeah, yeah. I, that was an awesome tank too I'm totally drawing a blank of the name of the youtube channel but maybe we can link it so yeah exactly yeah we'll, we'll we'll figure that out so what kind of plants do you have in here yeah so i got most of it is java fern i got trident java fern on most of the wood which is a mistake i meant to put narrow leaf i don't know if you want to show them on the top of the lotus that's all the narrow this is an air leaf right yeah, here. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. And, and you've got trident everywhere. Yep. Which so, I know you've given me a bunch of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Look how much trident fern there is. And again, this is another one of those Dustin Fish Tanks videos that I saw. I saw the trident. I'm like, oh, this looks so awesome. But 
and in that other video that I saw, I, it was all their own. So uh, I like both of them though. I kind of like the difference in um, texture, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's it. They both make the tank look very natural. Right. And I really wanted to go with the easy plants. Um, right. Less and, maintenance. Yep. Yeah, they want to do a bunch of maintenance and trimming. So um, down here we just got regular, just regular fern. Now. I think oh, is it just Java fern? Yeah, I think it's the nano or the nano Java fern, if you call it. It's got a really, hopefully, it's coming through on the video. It looks really like really green and lush. It's very, very healthy looking Java fern. Who's this guy down here? Oh, it's a little survey quarry cat. Um, I, I love him. about 12 of them in there. Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. So, we're still talking plants. <laughs> um, okay, so you got two different kinds of Java fern, three different. Three, yeah. And uh, what else we got going on here? So, we got some green crypts uh, which again was a mistake I really wanted to put the one the red crypt which is on the right over there yeah I've got I've got this stuff in my teeth that's what I meant to put in there but I don't know <laughs> and I got the pink flamingo right next to it yeah it's doing okay not as good as it can I don't really have super high, high light well these are some pretty badass lights though yeah Chihiros, right? Yep, Chihiros, and then... It's just the, the tank back. is so deep. We got some Phoenix in the back. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, but the Crips, they don't care if it's a little lower light, right? No, no. And then, no. what do we got? So, you said you got the green Crips, the red, red bronze, bronze Wendai, whatever it's called. And this Flamingo. is the Crip Lutea, I believe. I love that plant. Yeah, that plant's awesome. I, I literally put like three stems in there, or three plants and it just took off with the dirt. Kind of reminds me of like a, a little bit like um, what you call it? Palm trees. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it looks like very tropical. I like I like the way that looks. I like the texture of the narrow leaves. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then I this is my favorite plant. Uh, what is that? Tiger lotus? Yep. The red tiger lotus. Um, got the mother plant and it shot off some runners over here. Runners, I haven't seen that. I thought it just, it just dropped bulbs, but. Oh yeah, look at that. Forgot about that, I saw it the first time I was here. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. I like how red yours is. Mine hasn't really gotten this red yet. I don't know if it will. You guys can't tell, but there's there's a bunch of rock underneath this hardscape, but. Oh yeah, we can. Plants are covering it up. I got those rocks from Colorado. <laughs> Which I think that's so cool when you actually go out and, and, and find your own rock. See, oh yeah, there's 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 tons of it. It's just, ooh, talk to me about what do we got over here? Oh yeah, those are the hillstream loaches. I can't remember if they're reticulated or spotted, um, but I got about 20 of those in this tank. They're tiny, so you can't. I'm sure they've spawned in there. <laughs> Actually, last time I was here, we saw some really really small ones. So I'm thinking they did spawn, right? I mean, yeah, because you probably didn't buy them that small. No, no. They should have grown by now. <laughs> and I guess we should talk about where do you where do you get these rainbow fish or where did you get these? Yeah, so I got these rainbows from Marcel. I'm sure all the rainbow guys know him. That's all you gotta say, Marcel. Everybody's gonna know who you're talking about. Uh, but he's Roseline 17 on Aquabid. Uh, he's got a Get Gills, doesn't he too? Uh, I think I think I seen him on Get Gills, maybe. Marcel's fish. Yeah, I think he did say he had that. He's a great guy. Um, you guys were considering buying at one point, I definitely recommend it. Uh, he knows what he's doing with the rainbows, he's got a ton of species. Um, and it's just overall, I think for me, the guy just cares. So. Yeah, and I can attest to that, I got to meet him briefly, and I'm very new to the rainbow world, but he really took his time answering all my questions, and he's got an awesome setup at home. I'd love to get a video of that tank someday. Yeah, that, that setup's insane. Yeah. <laughs> Puts me to sleep. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, this is, I mean, this is a beautiful tank. So, what else? Um, oh, talk to me about the hardware. So, what do we got? So, you got Chihiro's lights and you've got it. Yeah, two Phoenix ALCs. Um, so, decently bright. I, I'd go with the HLCs if I had to do it again. Um, I am not disappointed with these Chihiro's. These are super bright. And you can adjust it, you can make it green, red, whatever, but I just, I just set it to a boost setting, is what I have it on the phone. 
Oh, the color looks so good too. Yeah. That you've got it set at. And then what kind of filters are you running? Yeah, two FX6s. Um, just standard, standard piping and everything. The big boys. Plenty of flow for these guys. And, oh, we didn't talk about this plant back here. Oh yeah, that's a Crenum Calamistrato. So that guy's not doing, I mean, it's doing okay. I think I got it when it was like five or six inches. So it's growing really slow. It's a slow growing. It it's such a beautiful tank, like, so you can't see behind me, but Steve's got a, a nice couch back here, and you could just sit back here and just, it's such a nice tank to just sit and watch the rainbows, and we were sitting here just a little bit ago, and we watched some uh, spawning happen, which was really cool. Yeah, look definitely at that. Wanna, it's not where I want it to be, but it's definitely nice for now. Oh, that's beautiful, man. I love it. Thank you. Low maintenance. And um, maybe we can uh, find some pictures to overlay of what it looked like when you first planted it, just because so you oh, could really be, a, you'd really appreciate how much it's grown in. Oh, yeah. There's no, no doubt about it, though. That soil really does a lot. Yeah. Absolutely. And another thing that I really like about this tank is there's so much depth. Like, this is a really deep tank from front to back. And you, you don't really see it at first until you kind of like start looking through all the nooks and crannies, but there's lots of places for the quarries to hide. You've got lots of shrimp in here too. Oh yeah, I got cherry shrimp and I got a mono shrimp running around. Which is kind of crazy, but you know, due to like the size of these rainbows, you'd think they'd eat them all. I, that's what I would think. But, yeah, beautiful tank. Just wanted to, I, I wanted to do a video ever since I saw this because it was just, like I said, so moving. I came down here. <laughs> And I like, I was almost starting to cry. And I, you know, I guess you just never know how you're gonna react to um, a beautiful, you know, slice of nature like this. So, thanks so much for showing us, Steve. Yeah, no and problem. someday we'll uh, show you guys Steve's fish room, but we're currently working on it. And I don't want to, uh, I don't want to show it in a, st a, a state where it's all messed up right now. I'm sure he wants to clean it up and make it look nice. So. But he's got a lot of different rainbows, and he's teaching me a ton. He's already, you know, taught me a bunch. So, all right, thanks, dude. Yeah. No